to, you know, shortening back up. I'm like, man, don't, you know, hopefully she doesn't get too far back. But when he asks her to go, she just, you know, she goes, you know. They went super fast up front, and uh, I was actually struggling around the home turn, but uh, it's lucky she's plenty of heart and she dug deep, and uh, thanks to Steve, he's done a fantastic job with this for Kentucky Downs might be in the line. Uh, I talked to his assistant, um, Georgie, just said, my girl is silly, has gotten me. She said, I'm happy to say. Yeah, she's got a good change of pace there, you know, she can uh, obviously sustain a good gallop and then quick it, which is usually a good sign of, uh, you know, a nice one. Yeah, look, I mean, Domingo was the only real standout pace of her last win. Today, obviously, we had, you know, probably a handful of them that wanted to be in the same position. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy enough to follow, you know, a decent, a decent gallop. It's when, you know, something goes to the front and makes it a test and a sprint, which is... Uh, yeah, also uh, become an issue, but uh, no, it worked out great today. And you know, she's she's almost gained a lot of out a lot out of that last win, and you know, moving forward, I, I think she'll have Kentucky Downs. And looking forward to her running. She was second in this race last year. How much better do you think she's on the warpath is this year than a year ago? I mean, she's you know she's really confident in herself, Jenny, and you know, like being around her ever since. I mean, I'm the only one that's ever had her, and we've given her a little time off, but she. We gave her a little break. We brought her back to New Orleans. Didn't make the races. Ran her Churchill in a sprint to get her started, and then she ran a huge third in the Mint Julep. But no, she's just, you know, she's a cool mare, and she always gives it her all. And uh, uh, you know, she's always got that swag about her anyway. But yeah, uh, she's confident, and you know, she knows how to win, and she fights when he asks her to go. So yeah. You you said before that you and the owners were hoping to um, get a crack at Kentucky Downs one of these years, and it looks yeah. like she's got a free roll now. Yeah. No. I mean we. You know, that's a little quirky track, but the, the grade three for 750 is real exciting and, you know, stable here. This, Ellis has really done well for us. Philly's really, the mayor's really trained great over the track and, you know, handled everything great. And uh, so I'm excited and we've got about five weeks. Uh, but no, she's, she's really, you know, she's an easy horse to train. She gets a lot out of her training. And, you know, knowing her now all these years, I mean, I know what she needs, you know, going into these races. So, uh, you know, just, just real pleased. And, Thanks to Robert and Luana for keeping her going and, and for getting the trainer. Trip a little bit. You said at first you thought maybe she was a little farther back than you had anticipated. Oh, yeah, I mean, the turf's been hard. We haven't had rain, and, you know, she does like a firm, firm course, but there was speed in the race. I said to Adam, you know, I'm not telling you how to ride the horse, but it looks like there is speed, and we just don't want to get too far back, but we don't want to take her out of her game. But if you ask her to go and put her in the race, she'll do whatever you want. But it's this question of, you know, trying to kind of not have too much to make up at the end. Being, we shortened her up to the mile. Well, that's what it was anyway. So, but anyway, uh, no. I mean, I just said, you know, you know, when you ask her, she's going to give you everything she's got. So, just you know, get a position, ride your race, and then I guess she had to go wide, turn her for home because she was making up so much ground. And the last thing I guess he wanted to do was try to you know, get stuck in traffic. So, I mean, he's a good rider. You have to tell him that.